Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid and today I'm going to be reviewing the Liquid Smooth 4.2.2 ROM for your AT&T and T-Mobile Galaxy S3. Yep, that's right, this is 4.2.2. So probably what you've heard uh, recently, 4.2.2 was released to the Nexus 4, the Nexus 7, the Nexus 10, and the Galaxy Nexus. And our Galaxy S3s haven't even gotten 4.1.2 yet, not 4.2 even. So, um, thanks to Liquid Smooth and Illusion, they were they came together to form the Liquid Smooth RC1 ROM for our AT&T and T-Mobile Galaxy S3s. So, um, as you've probably heard before also, Liquid Smooth broke up, and I guess some of the developers joined Illusion, which was another great 4.2 ROM, and they worked together to make this ROM. Okay, so let's get into it. So, starting off, you could tell that it comes installed with Nova Launcher, which is pretty awesome because that's usually the one I install later anyways. Um, some new updates. This is just fresh from install. So if we go down here, we have our settings. You could tell it's 4.2. Then we have our Liquid Smooth settings right there. Some other options. And if we go into About Phone, you could tell it says 4.2.2. If we tap on that, this is Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. If you hold there, you get the Jelly Bean game. You can tell that this is 3.062 Cyan Engine Mod Kernel. Uh, Liquid Smooth Version 2.1 RC1. And it was built a couple of days ago, released today. So some of the settings we do get, we do get interface right here. Custom Carrier Label, Force Dual Panel, which will give you tablet UI in your settings per app DPI settings so you could change um, the DPI of your apps clock widget I'm guessing that's Kronos yep we have hardware keys notification drawer recent RAM bar vibration multiplier if we go then back and we have lock screen oops and you get kind of the AOKP features here shortcut long press targets you could set targets you could um, change widgets so we could allow all widgets there we have the camera widget actually there's a lot of settings here widget carousel you could have unlimited widgets if we go back then we have navigation bar you could enable that performance if we go down there It'll take us to performance control. We could grant it. And then we could overclock, underclock, whatever you want to do there. Change the governor. Then we have power menu right here. We could add or remove stuff from the power menu. Power widget, which would be right here. We could add a widget there. <coughs> then we get quick settings. If you go in there, you could also play around with the quick settings. And then we have status bar. So you can see you get a lot of options here, which is pretty cool. And so otherwise, it's a 4.2.2 ROM. I mean, it's really, really fast. It got all the new stuff that the other 4.2.2 ROMs got. And I just wanted to show you guys this. It's stable. And what's awesome is it's stable, and this is only the first release. You have, uh, I don't know if you have Photosphere. If we open up, click, clock. No, you do not have Photosphere. You have your normal settings here. Just a bunch of stuff here. So, now I'm going to be showing you how to flash the ROM. And, okay, so now I'm going to be showing you how to flash the Liquid Smooth new um, 4.2.2 ROM. So this ROM was developed by... The people who did Illusion ROM, which is a 4.2.1 ROM, one of my favorites, one of the first. And as you probably heard before, Liquid Smooth broke up and they ended. But now Illusion and a couple of developers, I think, from Liquid Smooth have joined to create this ROM. And yeah, so I'm going to be showing you how to flash it right now. So this is what you're going to want to do. 
First you're going to want to go and do a wipe data factory reset. And delete all your user data. I suggest doing this twice just in case. Now we're going to go to wipe cache portion. We're going to wipe that twice also. So now we're going to go to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. We're going to go back down to install zip from SD card. Navigate to wherever you have that file. Oops, sorry. Oops, I have it in my download file. And so the first thing you're going to want to download is Liquid JB version 2 RC1 D2ATT. Okay? So you're going to click on that and install. You can see it's installing, you have this nice liquid thing right there. Racing system, mounting system, installing system. Give it a little time. It shouldn't take too long. And there it goes. So it's successful. Now we're going to go back and navigate to where you put the gaps file should be gaps 12 12 2000 this one right here make sure you're downloading that file we're going to click yes install should install it not too long since this is just a gaps package so there it goes it's done now we're going to go back and reboot system so I'll let you see the boot animation, which is probably the liquid smooth. And as usual, the first boot will take longer than the other boots. Don't worry about that, that's a normal thing. So yep, as I said, you get this cool liquid smooth boot animation, and it should boot up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you have any ROMs you want me to review, just leave a comment down below and I'll tell you if I can do it. So, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.